Telefon. I'm on? I am on. Well, hello, hello, hello. And welcome to another episode of Live with Naz. Quarantining in Corona, California. Yes, a quarantining in December of 2020, people. Did you expect we were going to quarantine? I thought we were going to quarantine in March, the thir- three weeks in March. And we said, okay, we'll do this show for three weeks and see how people are doing. Then it became until k- Easter. Then Easter became uh, summer because of the heat will kill the virus. And then we said, okay, well, when they start schools, we'll open up again. And we did not. And now it is December, it is Christmas week, and we're still quarantining. So, and I'm still with you, and that's what I was trying to lead into. 195 days, I'm still strong. The news changed. The facts changed. Everything (laughs) changed. The string of the coronavirus, uh, the strands has changed. But this show has not changed, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with Sarah Voss. How are you, Sarah think a crystal leffler came in first f- all the way from canada sneaks in the door and boom beats sarah how can this happen and sarah still opened the door and came in what a what a this is a good sportsmanship people sportswomanship no because they're both lovely ladies the door is open come on in hello rita we miss you rita welcome becky how are you from washington state michael ramirez you are first <laughs> you got two ladies to fight this over so i'm i'm getting out of this Teresa, good evening almost morning <laughs> we love you being with us all righty let's see who else is joining us ray alfers how are you brother michael ramirez hello 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 elena joining us early you are so funny. You were funny last today, Elena. Welcome. Becky Attenberry, how are you from Louisiana? I hope everything is well. You're ready for Christmas. And let's see who else is joining us. Oh, Ray and Sarah. And Joey is here. Joey Stilson. Hope your daughter and wife are doing okay. Christine Reeves, we missed you. Welcome back. Good to see you with us. All right. No, Chris and I came in at the same time. Okay. Tim Held from Oregon. Same. Uh, all song and dance, right? Well, hopefully, we'll give you some new questions today. All right, Crystal Liffler, wahoo! Yeah, I didn't even trip anyone. Oh, you're so sweet. Just a warning: if you're first, you must open the door for everyone else. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Amy. Hope the COVID is gone from your house. Oh, you're doing good, Rita. I was too busy cleaning the windows to come through the door. <laughs> <laughs> so you were there early, huh? Shout out from Tijuana, Mexico. Oh, Tim Hill is in Tijuana. Welcome, brother. Hope they let you back in. Well, with a name like Tim Hill. Come on in. <laughs> Ain't no wall high enough to not bring a Tim Hill back. <laughs> That's an amazing podcast today. What a blessing. Did you guys get a chance to watch it? I know Crystal and Sarah and few people watched it. Man, it was great. You know, I wasn't expecting that genuine of a guy really i mean um so newsboys are a huge band they're a celebrity i was like i worked with them 20 times never had the chance to really just hang out and talk to them it was always either i finish my show and leave or you know or they you know they finish too late i know for several concerts like i would do my 20 minutes and then introduce the newsboys and then i would leave so i can get to the hotel and sleep because I flew in that morning or I have to fly the next day so I normally don't stay till they're done so anyway and before the show you learn not to m- to talk to artists before the show you don't want to talk to an artist before the show unless I don't know I don't know how some musicians are but he's great he's a great guy good father good husband really great stuff that he shared so I'm really impressed thank you guys for sending questions always love it when you guys ask the the artist question all right, let's see. It must be my internet, but I saw my name up. <laughs> Here we go. I'm out of this. I'm staying out of this one. Uh, <laughs> Suzanne Werder, welcome from Pennsylvania. Welcome back. Nas, no 600 for us. Trump says 2000 for us. Really? I'll be Canadian. You were first. <laughs> Didn't open the door. And she's not actually first. Here we go. Uh, he doesn't like the bill because it adds a bunch of other stuff 
that has nothing to do with relief for the American people. Oh, I didn't I didn't watch the news today. I was so busy with number one. There's a guy that came and installed our dishwasher and our stove uh, and microwave. And it took hours, and I was helping him. Then I had my podcast. Then I had Delilah because Maha and the girls went shopping. <laughs> Last year they go shopping every day at Christmas before Christmas. Now they went one day. And I had to watch Delilah when she was so cute today and so mellow. And But when you're watching Delilah, you're watching Delilah. You're not doing anything else. Got to sit with her. All right. Jesus left the door open because he was born in a barn. <laughs> okay. I love the podcast today with Duncan Phillip. Thank you for having him, Naz. You're welcome. He's so right when he said you two has one of the best drummers, right? But I still have to argue with you, Michael Ramirez. I think it was Led Zeppelin's guy. Led, Led Zeppelin's uh, Bowman, David Bowman. Okay, thanks for adding fan questions into your podcast today. Was there, I always ask you guys, if you have any questions, send them to me and I will ask them. Enjoy your new kitchen appliances. Oh, yeah, find it after... After what sixteen, we moved in the house two thousand six. They were already there. It's not. We just bought a fridge in two thousand six, and we had uh, the stove and the uh, dishwasher and well, the microwave. I changed it once. That was it. But man, it's old stuff, really old. And uh, praise God, our house looks new again. So. Thank you. I'd like to thank MasterCard for <laughs> letting me charge it uh, for now. I thought you were going back to the whole group, going to talk to the whole group. No, it's hard. I can't. I can't. I don't like. I like one-on-one, -on -one, a Amy, and I appreciate. You know, sometimes when people visit me in a group, I don't like that. When you come visit me, I want to be alone with you. I want to talk to you. I want to know about you. I want to see what motivates you, what encourages you, what what challenges have you had in your life. And you have, when you're at a party or a gathering where there's so many people, like you know, it becomes so shallow and small talk. Hey, how are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, it was good to see you last time. And boom, that's it. So when you sit one-on-one -on -one with someone, that's why Maha knows when we invite people over, we invite one couple, that's it. You, let's Let's have dinner together. Let's talk. Let's let's break bread together not too many people anyway james blind is with us it really shows that duncan plays from his heart from his whole self that's true the best drummer was a nurse helping with my c-section <laughs> <laughs> beg to differ about the best drummer no no problem the who also has an amazing the who yeah the who <laughs> Uh, let's see. I just got a new, I got to get a new microwave soon. This one now sounds like it's dying of terminal flatulence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nez, can you interview Tim Conway Jr. on the podcast? I'll try to get a hold of him. Well, if he knows I was friends with his dad, I will see what I can do. He's on the radio three hours a day. You, know, you don't want to. Honestly, one-on-one -on -one interviews are the best through depths and honest answers, right? We are COVID free. Amen. Amy and her husband Phillips is COVID free, people. They are COVID free. All right. Well, last night I asked you, give me the worst name for a delivery company. The worst name for a delivery company. And this is, uh, I should, I'm higher. Need to buy a new spatula. <laughs> All right. Here's the worst name for a delivery company Carrier Pigeons Delivery Service, Dropkick Delivery. We crash your stuff. Looter's delivery. Lost in the mail. What package? UPS, underperforming services. Stork delivery. Bethlehem Star delivery. Our packages are on God's time. Next delivery date is 400 years. Can't find the house delivery service. And let's see. Number nine, shake, rattle, and roll. Number eight, you don't matter. Number seven, trust me delivery. Number six, Throw on the front porch delivery. Number five, smash to perfection. Number four, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get delivered. And number number four, it was delivered yesterday, I swear. Number three, eventually delivered. 
Number two, hit out of the park delivery. <laughs> they kicked it that far. And then number one, broke box mountain <laughs> delivery. I don't know why that killed me laughing. Broke box mountain <laughs> delivery. <laughs> Alrighty, well, congratulations, everyone. And since we're talking about the stimulus check, Mr. Rossetti, is he with us yet? Uh, Luke is here from Arkansas. Hello. Yes, you put that evil in delivery and tried to find evil in delivery, and I couldn't, and I <laughs> missed it. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, dra the drags has two extremely good drummers. The drags. The drags. Oh, the drags, not the drags. That's a whole different thing. Clumsy stork delivery. I'm s I'm so bit tired today and not feeling so funny. So I'll just hang. Oh, yeah, you always say that, and then you come up with the funniest thing. Here's your first question. Thank you, Rosetti, for that question. Phil Collins, yep, he's great. Um, unusual things to buy with a $600 stimulus check. That's what all we're getting as of now. So unusual things to buy with a $600 stimulus check. What can you buy? Unusual stuff to buy with a $600 uh, stimulus check. Uh, and let's see. Give me some unusual things. Oh, Cynthia Johnson. All right. How are you from Baltimore? Congratulations on day 195 net. Maha and the QIC family. And also, happy birthday to you, Cynthia. And Nancy Machariata is back. All the good friends are back now with us. Sheep. Sheep. You're going to buy a sheep. <laughs> Nancy's going to buy a sheep for $600. <laughs> what are you going to do? Start a farm? All right. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Gold-plated spatulas. <laughs> okay. Here you go, Mr. Spatula is here. Oh, so then, have you guys seen the crazy drum solo for the song Oceans by Hellsong United? Is Oh, no, I haven't. I'll go Google it. No, I mean YouTube it. I lost my water bottle. A couple candy ba bars. Bring her, bring her. Carol, bring her. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Delilah. Delilah, I was a babysitter today for this little monkey. This little dear. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, Delilah. Say hello, Delilah. I miss you. Are you okay? Hello, yes. Say hello to the Live with Ness family. Yes, she's trying to talk. Hello, everybody. I don't like this house. They're not feeding me anything but chicken and dry food and some. Can I get a kiss? Say hello. Say hello to the family. Say hello. That's Delilah, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you, Tally. Okay, did you guys see her broken leg? <laughs> All right. All right, sorry for the interruption. That was a... Uh, uh, she's one of our sponsors. She pays to, to keep the show going, so that's why we had to push her in. Give her some air time. <laughs> ah, this is awesome. I lost my water bottle. Well, I got one for you right here. I'll drink it for you. Okay. Uh, a couple candy bars after taxes. <laughs> That's all you're getting, Teresa. That's right. They're expensive. 600 bucks. Uh, <laughs> oh, hello, Bobby Miller. 22,000, 25,000 steps today. How are you, Bobby? You're working out for on my behalf. I feel good. I feel healthier when you're when you're posting about how many steps you made. You're making me angry. <laughs> like I d I did twenty steps today, just watching the dog. Votes for the replacement congressperson. <laughs> That's what you're gonna spend it on, Becky Ottenberg. <laughs> She's gonna buy some votes to get the congress There's replacement. <laughs> Gold plated teaser. <laughs> 600 things from Dollar Tree. <laughs> well, you're in Tijuana. That's like 1,200, 12,000 pesos or something. You can buy a lot more. Go to the peso store. <laughs> Sanitize and share, right, Bobby? Is it? Yes, it is. Thank you, Michael. Was that Michael? Yes, Michael. Thank you. I like it when you guys help one another. All right, sanitize. 
sanitized show number 195 so we have a show tomorrow that will be 196 and then thursday and friday we're off for christmas and then Saturday and sunday of course and then we come in monday with 997 tuesday with 9 198 wednesday with 199 and next thursday will be the show 200 god willing everything goes smoothly 200 shows we have to do a zoom thing we'll see what we can do give me some ideas somebody said barbecue i don't think we can do that okay gold-plated pooper scooper <laughs> i'd buy shares of in and out burger i don't feel a day over 80 oh wow congratulations happy birthday a year supply of ramen <laughs> Trump said no to $600. He said 2000 per adult. Well, is it going to work? Buy into a multi-level marketing <laughs> scam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, dude. Delilah is so cute. 6,000 pieces of bazooka gum. I love bazooka gum. But don't you eat the gum in front of John. He would die. And I found out that there's a lot of people have the same issue cannot eat gum next to them they just go crazy my own little toilet paper maker <laughs> Becky, uh, uh, year long supply of bacon <laughs> for Luke yes a copy of the constitution to the seven justices to the supreme court okay a one way ticket out of here <laughs> okay Sammy Hager's fountain of youth a year sub did you guys know that Sammy Hager was Lebanese Middle Eastern Huh, just for the record. A year's supply of pepto <laughs> My husband fell and got me a water bottle out of the refrigerator. I lost my reusable water bottle. Well, get a new one. You don't want anything reusable in your house, right, after COVID. Whatever you do, don't use it to buy lottery tickets. They are a tax on people who can't do math. That's right. I just did the S word. Who else did? Oh, you did. If you guys want to do the S word, I'm not going to repeat it. Go ahead. You know where the button is. Will we be here for the New Year's Eve, Naz? I don't know. We might have a party. A New Year's Eve party. I don't know. I don't know if I... I might get a, a show or a Zoom show or something. I don't know. I really don't know. I have to play it by ear because... Uh, I have to be considerate of my family because, you know, just doing every night, five nights a week at 8.30 p.m. is like, hey, can you come with us? I go, no, I can't. It's not, I'm not, I'm not, but I enjoy the show. I would do it if, if only two of you are there. It's not that. I love doing it. It just, I have to be considerate also. It's like tour dates. Like sometimes I, like every gig that comes up, like, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. But then I have to say, you know what? I can't take this one. Because I have to be considerate of my family's time. That's uh, that's the only thing that would stop me. Or a gig where I have to go do New Year's Eve. Alrighty, let's see. A way to sneak. We might, hey, maybe we can do a Zoom. Everybody will celebrate New Year's Eve together. That would be a great idea. We might. All right, we'll be here for the New Year's Eve. A way to sneak Crystal Liver across the border so she can visit all the places she wants to. She wants to go to Nashville. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, I think she wants to go to the Waffle House. <laughs> Maybe. Take a vacation with half of my personalities. That's a lot of people. You, can't. you know, our governor won't let you do that, Frida. I do every time I'm on my own device. Thank you. Dental work done. Yes. 600 bucks, you can get that. I will buy Delilah from Tally with my 600. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot enough money. She is getting attached to her. <coughs> Go to Star Wars to meet my father. <laughs> Luke, that's right. <coughs> Steps aren't always cracked up to be what they think. Sore, tired feet. Do you see how my throat just when Delilah came in and I had to kiss her? <coughs> allergies mm -hmm. one week supply of Prozac to mother in law with no instruction <laughs> just take take three and call the 
call the coroner in the morning first thing in the morning call the coroner up stop steps aren't always cracked up to be what they are sore tired feet 120 in and out cheeseburgers yes joey invite me start a business selling grilled cheese sandwiches I want to sign Delilah's cast. What a sweetheart. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, if we get 2000 here for us four, we will get 8000 here to pay off our credit cards and dental work done. Well, uh, I'll pray for that. That would be awesome. Bring Nas to Arkansas. I would love to come. What are we going to do for episode 200? I don't know yet. I said maybe Zoom, but you let me know. Or we can save the Zoom for the New Year's if we plan something. I don't know. I really don't know. You guys tell me. It's your show. 600 to pay for taxes on the dress I paid $38 for in California. <laughs> I would buy new bodies for my five personalities. The 200th episode is a musical episode, I believe. Yes. Zoom, Zoom, and a bombing, booming night. All righty. Hi, James. Uh, Bobby Miller and James and Bobby and Becky and Zoom and Google Shares. Zoom and Google Shares. Yes, for 600 bucks. Mm. Okay. True, James, but do you really want there to be a musical episode of this show? Not really. Not sure that's a good guy. It might kill the show. Unless you guys have each one has a different talent, like someone can play a guitar or someone can sing or someone can do some magic whatever or comedy hey that might be a good new year's eve party buy a pfizer freezer <laughs> <laughs> at the new year's zoom my sign will read quarantining into 2021 <laughs> uh, great to see you guys let's see all night we are at whataburger <laughs> All night. <laughs> uh, a big frying pan to knock Philip <laughs> out to put him to sleep. <laughs> $600 to pay my therapist, to pay his therapist, to pay her therapist. <laughs> That's good. That's go far. <laughs> this show is already pretty late for me here in Pittsburgh. No way I'm going to be able to join for the New Year's if you stay up for your midnight. Yeah, our midnight, 3 in the morning, your time. Oh, shoot. That's right. Well, we'll celebrate New Year's with each <laughs> time zone. So at 9, we'll do it. And then at 10, and then <laughs> at 11. Wait a minute. Elaine, buy 10,000 Hershey Kisses. Friend of mine did that. It's called the Grilled Cheese Truck. He has 10 trucks nationwide now. Wow. Hey, Brent. Hello. Oh, Brent is here. I think he would be fun to do a Zoom for New Year's Eve. But if that doesn't work out, at least we should do it for episode 200. That's right. Good night all. What? Have an early morning. Yes, go for it. Thank you, Luke, for joining us. Good night, Luke. Show is on. <laughs> yeah, 600 to get out of Facebook and Instagram jail streaming and screaming not included. My wife's <laughs> Oh, Brent. Pet Lama, Pet Lama. <laughs> I'll buy 100 Happy Meals, pay off clown college student loan debt. <laughs> oh, my Lord, you guys are funny. Buy more cats and sanitize and share, right, Bobby? Not yet. Six more minutes. We do it every 15 minutes. So, okay, let me, let me get you to the second question. Okay, guys, you know, it's Christmas, so we have to talk about Christmas. What got you on the naughty list? That's another one question came from Christmas Betty. Oh, what got you on the naughty list? Okay, let's see. 150 pounds of hummus and fresh pita. Okay, you don't need that 600 bucks for that. <laughs> I'll put 600 away, put it towards a used but newer car. All righty. I'll buy blue vest, go to Walmart, and ignore people and randomly start mowing like a cow so everyone would have a moving experience. <laughs> you got the plan down, huh? 
You know what? Better than do you guys have loads? If you have loads, get that blue vest and just walk away. Walk in there and see how mu how attractive you are. Everybody will come to you. Buy more dogs and put them in Naz's yard. No, thank you. This little puppy is really filling up the yard. I just got those pooper scoopers from Amazon. Hopefully that will work. Sarah, I'd say a plane ticket, but 600 doesn't usually get a person very far. You know what? Nowadays, kind of some flights you can. With this pandemic, you can still find good tickets sometimes, depending. If you want to fly and spend 12 hours, uh, you know, in, trans in transit, <laughs> there is some cheap flight. Nagging at my husband, Philip. Okay, working for Amazon. <laughs> That's what got you on the naughty list. Nagging at my husband, Philip, got you on the naughty list. Uh, and let's see. iPhone loading got me on Santa's naughty list. <laughs> we didn't see anything, Michael. Forgetting to flush one time. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. You know, my, wi <laughs> my wife, she got you on the naughty list. <laughs> Don't wear red at Target. Right. I will rent you my vest for six. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Elena works for Fo Walmart. Oh, naughty, I ate the last of the cookies. Nothing left for Santa. <laughs> Putting salt in someone's tea when I'm upset with them. <laughs> oh, that's funny, you guys. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. You guys are gonna... All right, let's see what do we got here. Putting salt. What got me on the naughty list is my hair was tangled. I had naughty knots. <laughs> Candy overdose <laughs> got <laughs> me on the naughty list. My bad. All righty, let's see. A really good buffet for 600. That will work. Man, I miss buffets, Brent. I do miss them. Let me know. I'm coming to South Dakota, hopefully, in January 27th, Wednesday. Let me know. I'd love I'd love to go to a buffet if they're open. I, don't, I doubt it. Funny Brent, still pretty cheap. Take him, talk him back to my wife. That got you on the naughty list. I ate so many mint Oreo cookies today. <laughs> I didn't make dinner for Philip. <laughs> My daughter is going to Costa Rica for 250 round trip. Wow. Nancy from California, right? Wow. Rigging the toilet to explode when flush. <laughs> Flipping the Walmart greeter a caffeine pill. <laughs> oh, let's see. What got me on the null list, please? I placed a rubber band around the faucet sprayer and asked for a glass of water from the sink. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wearing my Make America Great Again. <laughs> that got you on the phone. Uh, that got you beaten up, huh, in California. I miss the Golden Corral. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. Buying my wife a bicycle, it was a tandem bike so she can fit. <laughs> oh man, Brent, you. <laughs> oh, you know what? If that's the reason you're not going to make it to next Christmas, I understand that the other is going to beat you up. <laughs> uh, yes, from California. Oh, wow, that's cheap. 250. Can't even go to. What? I can't even go to Louisiana with that. I had to pay 480 for my Louisiana. Uh, okay. <laughs> he is funny. Brent is funny. No sanitizing. Naughty, naughty. Not sanitizing, right? Naughty, naughty. Is it 9 o'clock? Yes, it's time to sanitize. Teresa, thank you for the for the subliminal hint to sanitize. Alrighty, Sarah, saying God bless your heart to people when I really mean what an idiot. 
Oh, okay, let's see. My dog Bibi is on Santa's naughty list for chewing up blankets and sheets and her toys. Ah, they still chew after they're getting older, huh? Rocky never did. I don't know what happened, but he, when he was a puppy, I wouldn't let him chew. A couple times I said, no, you can't. And boom, that was it. Putting tape on the bottom of the cat's paws, <laughs> watching them freak out, trying to get it off. <laughs> If he keeps it up, he's not going to make it to the New Year. That's right. Buying someone a 3XL shirt and they only wear a lot. <laughs> that's, that's, you're on the naughty list, Elena. I got on the naughty list for going into the meat department and making my phone move. <laughs> and ask him next time to have less rare beef. That's an idea, people, <laughs> from Crystal. <laughs> when you go to the meat department at your grocery store, put the sound of cows <laughs> or sheep or whatever. Lonnie's here. How are you, Lonnie Pelly? Welcome. Kicking my boss's tires to set off his car alarm. <laughs> I requested a lump of coal refund from Santa. Not <laughs> Giving my brother a dog treat and telling him, it was beef jerky. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. The, the crystal. What got me on the knowledge list? First, the waitress ahead of time. My two friends had birthdays and were greeted with a free slice of cake. They didn't have birthdays close by. <laughs> <laughs> This is funny. I hope I remember this when the when they open up again. Baby loves you. Oh, thank you. Telling my wife the truth about her cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew's here. How are you, Matthew? Welcome. Throwing last year's coal at Santa. So I got more coal. You can guess what will happen next year. <laughs> my wife is on here tonight. So you'll be kind. Oh, 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 hello, Adra. Welcome. We're glad you're feeling great. And what a lovely husband you have here. It's just uh, the romantic words he says about you on this show just just make me feel guilty that I'm not that that loving and romantic and I'm not able to express my way with the choice of words that Brent uses. I could not do it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Audra. We are behind you. We are the witnesses. So <laughs> go ahead and do whatever you have to do. <laughs> we <laughs> oh man, switching the M and N keys on the coworker's computer. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Locking my family out of the house and pretending not to hear them knocking on the door. <laughs> you guys are going to go on my naughty list, not just Santa's. Putting cayenne pepper on a pizza that, is, that a friend was eating. <laughs> Speak for yourself, friend. <laughs> I'm okay. Keep my family in prayer. My sister lost her fight. Oh, so sorry, Lonnie. Okay, all right, let's see, what do we got? I'm okay, keep my, we will keep your family in prayer. Thank you so much. And what do we got here? Being in Facebook jail, yes. Uh, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Yes, just too late, he's already in trouble, Elena. Brent is, <laughs> praying for you, Lonnie, yes. We're sorry about that, he lost. After calling hundreds of people to receive free Christmas meals and gifts, my boss asked if I had called the delivery people. I had not. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see. For forgetting my sense of humor. No, you didn't. Taking a screenshot of a co-worker's computer desktop, making the desktop wallpaper, and then hiding all the applications. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you guys are funny. I'm glad I don't work with you or I live with you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, till death do us part includes when you're off, uh, off by your spouse. <laughs> That's right. 
Uh, my condolences to yes to your family, Lonnie. I'm so sorry. Spouse, telling my kids that their mom was adopted by Angelina Jolie. <laughs> that their mom was adopted. <laughs> so sorry for your loss. Okay, so then you're <laughs> bring dinner home for myself. Oh, maybe Brent and Audra could use the stimulus money to buy a separate Facebook <laughs> account. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Let me do this. Uh, uh, okay. Let's go. It is time for. It's, it's getting close uh, to for the Guinness Book of World Record. Okay, man. All right. That's a great idea to play a trick on my brother Rodney to give him a doggy treat. I put cayenne pepper in my aunt's soda while she was in the bathroom. <laughs> Scamming a scammer for just showing up in Nez's pool. <laughs> uh, you guys are welcome when the thing is over. I got on the naughty list, brought their turkey to customer service, so that I purchased it and said, I'm returning your self-basting turkey. How can it be self-basting if it's already <laughs> cut off? True story. <laughs> For putting an air horn under my mom's mattress. <laughs> the screen went up. <laughs> Crystal, I'm so glad you're in a different country. I would, uh, I would die if you do stuff like that. <laughs> Telling my ex-husband that he was my best ex. <laughs> that got you on the note on this. Uh, let's see. Guinea, Guinea time. Oh, yes, Guinea's book of world record time. Telling the police that the reason I was speeding was to get away. <laughs> was, okay, the re let me see. I was speeding to get away from my son who needed money. <laughs> they probably got you out. Muting the in-ear sound to all the worship down singers during practice. <laughs> I bought the 2021 version of the Guinness Book of Walmart for a quick reference guide. It can help you. <laughs> that you can. Got it in the naughty list by using my $600 to pay off the Walmart greeter to take their place for a shift and terrorize customers. <laughs> Anyone who buys chocolate hummus is on the naughty list. <laughs> right. Uh, cooking the pardon <laughs> Thanksgiving turkey. Naughty. That's right, Cynthia. That's funny. Grace, uh, hey, hi, Grace, welcome. Not unless I called the radio station on April Fool's Day and asked him to play the song based on Hezekiah 17. One, <laughs> is there such a s <laughs> there's no Hezekiah for having slow internet? All right, you guys, you know what? What's funny, uh, is uh, a friend of mine did that on uh. He did it on uh, <laughs> uh, April's Fool. His um, he lives in a city. I won't mention the city, but it's just nothing much happening. And every time they have something like Jack in the Box opening or something, they get so excited. Well, for op April's Fool, he made a great, a great professional sign that said Chick Fil A is coming to soon. And he went to an empty lot, and on the fence he put the sign. And man, everybody was excited. Until they found out <laughs> that Chick-fil-A said, nope, we're not even planning anything in that city. <laughs> that was funny. All right, here's your Guinness Book of World Record, people. Guinness Book of World Record. Today is also National Date Not Bread Day. National Date Not Bread Day. And since there's nothing in the Guinness Book about dates, uh, we're going to talk about nuts because it's crazy today. So, the largest chocolate nut bar was achieved by Reese's Take 5 in the U.S. in Hershey, Pennsylvania on January 31st, 2020. That's recent. That's 2020 B.C., before the pandemic. The bar was created to promote Reese's first Super Bowl ad. The bar includes chocolate, nuts, pretzels, peanut butter, and caramel. How much did it weigh? How much did it weigh? Over 1,000 pounds and under 10,000. And Michael, it is an odd number. Over a thousand, under ten thousand. Go for it. How much is that chocolate bar? 
chocolate nut bar. Wait it. Go for it. Date nuts <laughs> sounds like my teen years. That's funny. Who's dating a nut? <laughs> Okay, give me an amen if Chick-fil-A should be open on Sundays. You know, as much as I like them to open on Sundays, they're making a big statement. That's really powerful Christian statement. So, nope, I'm not going to join you. <laughs> Let's go. Go on Saturday. That's when we go. Go to in and out on Sunday. Point the hair dryer at cats while on Christian scooter. At cars. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be honest. I've faked turning up people in their monitors because they were already too loud. So I just faked it till they said, okay, that's great. Thank you. Being friends with Naz. <laughs> that's uh, that's get you on the naughty list. Cruising on Chris Rosario's scooter without permission. All right, let's see. Let's see what the numbers. Matthew started with 7777. Amy said 5,000. Lonnie said 1555. Uh, Teresa said 6333. One mile, <laughs> 3500 for Cynthia. 6666 for Amy. My kids, that's what got you on the naughty list. Hello, baby, welcome. 3333. 7373. 8555 for Amy. Uh, Sarah said the rooster said 5555. 7777 Brent said 4444 4, 4, 4, 3, 3, 3, 3, 7, 7, Bobby said 2575, 4575, and 6575. Nancy Maturiata said 3737. Crystal said 579, 5790, and 7901. And my mom, uh, Becky Voss, Sarah's mom, said 7777. My boyfriend went through a red light and a cop stopped us. Told him, shh, I will handle this. When the police came over, I made such a fuss how my boyfriend was a jerk and how we are now late to see his awful boss, family, and tomorrow seeing my therapist. The police officer felt so sorry for him. He let him go. <laughs> True story. <laughs> That's good. 46, 24, 56, 24, and 66, 24 for Joey Stilson. Okay. Teresa said 51, 23. Becky said Attenberry, 53, 33. Sarah, 73, 33. Becky, 15, 55. Teresa, 48, 93. 62, 95 for Sarah. 48, 75. 58, 75. And 68, 75 for Elena. My wife said she don't know how much it weighed, but pretty sure I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are giving even numbers, even though it's a not, yeah, it's a not number, an odd number. 6,031 for Nancy, 4,457 for Becky Voss, 6,399 for Becky Ottenberry. Teresa said 5,731, 5,731, and uh, let's see, 55. Uh, 54 for Michael, 58.50 for Michael, and 51.50 for Michael. Uh, Sarah said, my cat, 13.57, 23.49, 67.63. Mm. Rosetti, I blew a trumpet at 3 a.m. in my Bible school dorm and yelled, rapture practice. <laughs> 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 Welcome, Rosetti. Thank you. That was your question. I found my reusable water bottle. It was on the floor by my headboard. Well, wash it before you drink it. Rooster is delicious if cooked right. Can I borrow your rooster? <laughs> 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 Invite me to the dinner, Joey. That rooster is bothering me. My other cat said 4437, 5793, and 2347. And 9550 for Grace, 5775. I think we're at 915. Let's sanitize and then uh, stop the betting. If you didn't bet yet, this is your chance. And uh, let's see. Amy, are we spamming? No, we're not. 5775999, I give up. Okay, 5277 for Teresa. And Amy said 5999. 5999. 
And then let's see. Uh, okay, and let's stop the betting right now and sanitize. And you can do whatever you want to do with, you know, loyalty to this show. You can do that. Uh, 5320, 6000, and sold while I don't eat cat. I could arrange something. Sold. Hi, Maha Americas. I know what would get me on the naughty list. Letting that rooster get nasty. Sold. Share. 7777. I love my wife, but while she has scissors in her hand, I'm going to speak nice thing. <laughs> you are. Okay, here's the winning number. The largest chocolate nut bar is weighted 5,943 pounds. We have one winner, Amy. Amy have not won in a long, long time. And Amy is the winning, the only, the closest winner. She said 59, uh, 59 something. No, let's see. Oh, 59, where's Amy? Amy, 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 you said, where's Amy? Michael said 58.50, but then Amy came and beat him up with 59, 57, no, Sarah, Fernanda the cat. So it's Amy, where did you say Amy? 59.99. So 59.99 is the closest because she is about seven, six numbers, 56 numbers away. If you disagree with me, let me know. If you have a closer number, let me know. 5850, yeah, she is the winner. Amy Alvina McLean Lee is the sole winner of this. Let's see, why does the rooster bother you, Nance, but not the cats? Because we had an argument a few weeks ago, me and the rooster. I got on the naughty list for bringing my Dunkin' Donuts mug into the <laughs> With a smile on my face. <laughs> Big smile on my face. You're so funny, Crystal. Tonight you are on. That's hilarious. All right, Amy. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Enjoy this. Don't give Philip any. I hid under the platform while the professor at my Bible school was teaching about finding the will of God. He helped. <laughs> Go to Africa. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. He heard the Lord telling him to go to Africa. My, my book gave me the wrong numbers. That's <laughs> that book don't work. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for the honesty. Allergic to feathers and cats. Amy said fifty nine ninety nine. That's right. Amy had fifty nine ninety nine. My wife said I got into the null list the moment I was born. <laughs> I beat Michael. <laughs> you did. Winner, Amy. Yes. Yes, yes. Congrats. I'm on the naughty list for saying my name is Vo Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort at a coffee shop when my order is ready. <laughs> if they call. He who must not be named, they get an extra tip. <laughs> he who must not be named. Vold, Voldemort. <laughs> Wait, have you been talking to the rooster man? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> BLM, Bow Lives Matter, need the TP net. <laughs> Love I be <laughs> We will not be here tomorrow. We are traveling over 20 hours to Texas to be with family for Christmas, taking our sweet time driving. Uh, we'll be safe, guys. And uh, let's see. Bless the rains down in Africa <laughs> while you're there. There's that's a bad as walking into a hipster gourmet coffee house with a Starbucks cup. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> or you know what? Sometimes I go to those gourmet coffee and I go, you go what size? I go the grande or the venti, and they get mad. This is not Starbucks. I'm like. Well, you smell, it smells like it. <laughs> I loved my 20 hour drive to Texas. Can't wait to do it again. I guess I'm on the null list for wanting to open the door for everyone, every live show. Well, there was, there are worse things, I guess. No, you're on good list for, thank you. You guys, you know what? You gotta give Sarah a hand for, give her a shout out. She's been every show. She's the first one in there. Uh, 
almost all of the time. I truly believe all the time. <laughs> I love you, Rita, and I love you, Kristen, and I love you, Michael Ramirez. But I think <laughs> they're the first one in. And she welcomes everybody. And you I love the way you guys always, when someone just joins, you say hello to them. That brings my to my attention, so I welcome them. Thank you. This is awesome. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Crystal and uh, uh, Crystal said he called up a telethon several times until the host <laughs> saw all the phone lines lighting up. <laughs> That's funny. I dared my brother to order Big Macs as we drove into Burger King. He absent mindedly <laughs> he did that. CLM Comedians Lives Matter, yes. I heard there's the world's bigger star, biggest Starbucks in the United States. Is it? No, there's one in Kuwait where 400 seater Starbucks seats 400 people in Kuwait. I'm very dedicated to the yes, you are. Fill in this sentence. My New Year's resolution is okay. Let's save that question till we do this after Christmas. Good question, Michael. We'll we'll take that. Thank you. Congratulations. I thought that Sarah was on your staff. Yes, she seems like it. Everyone on the naughty list for asking Google and Alexa for the answer. <laughs> uh, where's my phone? I'm still waiting. Me too. Merry Christmas, y'all. The well, the wind gust in South Dakota tonight is up to 65 miles. So going to bed and listen to the weather. Well, man. We'll talk to to Becky Ottenberry. She she knows about tornadoes and hurricanes. Five floors Starbucks. Ouch. That's a lot of coffee. Yeah, well, if you keep 6 feet apart and they're closed now, so we need a bigger drive-through. That's what we need from Starbucks. I drive backward through the drive-through as I order my food. I did that through Zeri. And they were so mad at me until my friend who was sitting in the passenger seat, he said he doesn't speak English. And the manager thought it was okay then. But man, they were angry in the beginning. <laughs> I was like, I don't speak English. Uh, it's funny. <laughs> That's funny. All right, pray requests, people. Pray for uh, Brent and Audra to have a safe 20-hour drive. Pray that Audra will keep the scissors in her hand during the entire trip. Because <laughs> we don't trust Brent. I genuinely thought that <laughs> genuinely, yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's see. Not a list for changing my mom's ring tone to baby shark. <laughs> Riding one Valdez donkey down my street. <laughs> you really love coffee then. Okay, any prayer requests, guys? We need to pray for Joey's kids. Pray for Lonnie. Lonnie's. He lost his sister to yesterday, so please keep him and his family in prayers. Pray for Joey and his wife and his new baby. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Prayer. Anybody needs prayer, please let me know. This is the time. We really pray for you guys. We really pray for you. So, The biggest Starbucks is in Chicago. Open November, open November 15, 2019. Please pray for Pastor Jensen Franklin to be 100% this time. Oh, he got COVID. Shoot, I worked with him this March, last March in uh, Maui and the March before. He is really good uh, saxophone player. He played twice for us uh, in Maui and really good. And he's a charismatic speaker, very powerful. We'll be praying for him. Pray my pray for my COVID test comes out negative and that my whole family gets well quick, really. Sad and bummed. That will be sick for Christmas. Well, I hope you heal fast. And that's negative. Tomorrow, last day of 12-hour shift. Yes. Yes, Bobby. Praise God for that. Nephew's wife now has COVID. Please pray it does not get bad. She has asthma. Oh, yes. We'll keep her in prayer. Let's see. For my COVID... Anybody else needs prayer? Okay, approximately. Ah, Sarah. Pray 
Let's see anybody else needs prayer. Anybody else? Yeah, praying for Yolani and Amy and anyone else who lost a loved one this year, right? Healing for my wife and myself. We are praying for you guys, Chris, for your wife and for you. Mom had a better day today, not out of the woods, but we're praying for your mom, Grace. Praying for healing with my family. Not COVID. Well, we're praying for your family, Matthew. Pray for my former neighbor, Mark, who is feeling really alone. Okay, we'll pray for that, Suzanne. Please continue to pray for my sister. She is in the hospital with COVID-19. She had a plasma transfusion today. We'll be praying for her, Michael, your sister. Praying for our nation. Amen. You have asthma too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. The crystal for my pastor's wife and their five kids. And this is their first Christmas since his death. That's right. Oh. Oh, man. That's right. That's hard. Pray for overwhelmed medical staff. Yes. Uh, pray for the, you know, Adriana and... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Sophia. They're both on our live with Ness family, and they're both our uh, healthcare providers. So keep them in prayer. All right. Uh, praying for everyone to have a good Christmas. Pray for my cousin Rachel, who's having health problems. We're praying for Rachel. That both of my daughters will be with me. Oh, yes. We're praying for that for Christmas, Bobby, that your daughters will be with you. Pray for Sophia, she's a nurse, yes. And I really miss miss her on this show. Yes, she's working hard. Pray for my sister Rose. I can't see her no more. She went hmm, she went to another assisted living hospital. We'll be praying for your sister Rose. Praying now I was healed from asthma years ago, almost died from it. Well, praise God. Praise God, Teresa. And you were healed from cancer. And praise God. All right. Praying over all the requests tonight. Amen. That's that's the beauty of this show, people. We're praying for one another. Today I was just asking, just asking the Lord, what should I share with you guys real quick? And it just, uh, this was, this is, you know, this is a time, this is a special Christmas where we all are aware of how things can go sour and different and, uh, Anything can stop. We didn't think that would happen. If you told us a few years ago, last year, that you know businesses can close, restaurants close, schools will close, government will shut down, do this, do that, everything will be, you know, you can't go out of your house, you can't do this. The government's telling you what to do, who to see, churches will be closed, all this, It'd go no way. But it happened. Anything could happen. So in this Christmas. Would you forgive anyone that you have a grudge or or angry or hateful of? This is the time we forgive. Matthew 18, 21 says, Peter came to Jesus and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times, Jesus said to him, I don't say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. 70 times seven. So that's 400 something. I bet you there's some people you're angry at that didn't even make it to three times or four times or five times that they offended you or you told them not to do something and they did it. You expected them to do something and they didn't and you, you're already angry at them. At the mention of their name just bring you wrong feelings. So I pray that this Christmas that you would forgive. God would just smile over you when you do that. Really forgive them genuinely, not just forgetting what they did, no, but actually forgiving them to where the mention of their name doesn't make you grinch or get angry, but brings like, oh yeah, I forgave that person. You can't do it in your own, so ask the Lord to help you with that. Katie Brimmer is here. Katie, how are you? Thank you for joining us. You join us the last second of the show, but we're here, God willing, tomorrow night at 8.30. Please join us, Katie, so we can... Laugh together. Cynthia, our church is doing 1K, 1,000 acts of forgiveness and freedom before the Amen. Forgiveness ushers in the balm of Gilead to the forgiving heart. Amen. Amen, Crystal. Amen. All right. Good night, everyone. I love you. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow night. God willing. God bless you. Have a great night.